All right, this message is directly to Sony. Hopefully you watch this video like you've watched tons and tons of other videos have people complaining about the A7S III and A1 updates. We're not getting them. It's ridiculous. It's the same camera as the FX3. It's a better camera than the ZV-1. Why do those have better features? I don't understand. The FX3 is a cheaper camera unless you have the top handle, then it's more. Right? Why can't we have Cine EI? Why can't we have 4K DCI? Why can't we have lens breathing compensation? Why can't we have the anamorphic D squeeze? These are all things that the Sony A7S III and the A1 are capable. Why can't we have these things? It's ridiculous. You know, I spent over $7,000 on these cameras. I have two Sony A7S III's. I use these for work, professional work, and I would like to have these options. The tiles would be nice too, right? And if you can, why can't the, the A7S III and the A1 get the, the new framing option that you have in the ZV-1? It's ridiculous that you're catering, catering toward vloggers. I mean, come on, people are using their phones. So, Anyway, it's not like I'm going to leave Sony because obviously you got, I, the video is incredible on these cameras, right? The photography is pretty amazing too. I have a Canon R5 and um, I'm very disappointed in that camera. It's only good for photography. The video sucks. So I'm pretty much going to re reach for my A7S III before I would reach for the Canon R5. In fact, I'm gonna end up selling the Canon R5 because I'm just comfortable with Sony cameras. And um, I just hope that, that Sony listens to all of the people that have bought A7S III's and even the people that bought A1's. I know if I bought a, an A1 camera or even had a couple, I'd be super pissed because if I was seeing vlogging cameras get all these updates, right? There, there are all these features and then I'm not going to get those and I spend $6,500 on a, on a body. I mean, that's ridiculous. Sony, wake up. Give us the updates.